All right. Let's just see if this works. It might not, but if it doesn't, then we'll just use shotgun. Can she get around that? Yep. Uh, nope, she can't. All right, good. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we play this game on insane difficulty. So I'm sure I'll set the name of speed, and we are on Alpha. 19 Experimental. It's day 14, so Horde Night is coming tonight. I'm excited uh, to see how our base design is going to work uh, on day 14. Uh, so it just uh, turned 6 in the morning. I spent the night. I did one buried treasure quest, which we need to go turn in. Uh, wrenched some cars went back to the base made uh, cargo pocket mods and storage mods for our stuff so we are now um, down to only five encumbrance slots and even if those fill up it's still not too terribly bad for our movement uh, but I've got a triple storage in uh, the helmet the chest piece and the uh, gloves and I didn't have enough resource I can't remember what it was that I ran out of to do them to the iron boots so we'll do those later I also had enough resources to make one of the double pocket mods which we found and we placed that on something on our overalls um, so yeah uh, we got that done I ended I actually made myself a wrench because I have salvage operations one but the wrench that I made which is an orange wrench is actually worse than the stats on this one which kind of sucked but uh, we'll just probably end up selling that wrench it does have more durability but in every other respect, it was inferior uh, to this particular wrench that we have now. Sooner or later, though, we'll get a socket and then later on an actual um, impact driver, which will be cool uh, for, you know, salvage operations. I also took um, a point. I had another point and I took a point in a demolitions expert so that I can make pipe bombs because I want to use pipe bombs for Horde Knight. And of course, we will now increase our damage, our explosion damage by 10% and all that other good stuff that it says up there. So that's pretty much where we are. So what I've done here is I've been mining out, you know, the rest of the coal here at the at the dumping lung. Uh, we're going to finish this out and then we're going to run back to the trader and turn in our quest, see what else he, uh, she's got rather for us to do. Uh, but I also, at some point before Horde Night begins, um, actually, uh, and not at the last minute, <laughs> uh, I want to mine some nitrate up and maybe even some lead so that we can make a little more gunpowder and therefore make some more ammunition for tonight's uh, Horde. I have some, but I'd like to have just a little bit more than we currently have. So we pulled 1,664 coal out of here. I had mined some of it earlier, so this isn't the full bin, but that's still a pretty... Nice little uh, chunk of coal there. Let's just nerd pull out of here. Can we get that? There we go. Um, so we'll kind of see. Let's get back to the trader first and do that turn in, and then we'll kind of see, you know, where we're at. If he gives us a job that's really close by, then I think we can get done and still give me enough time um, to, you know, to mine some nitrate. We'll do that. Actually, no, it's a scratch that. We'll do that the other way around. I'm going to go do the nitrate first after we do the turn in so that way we can have the gunpowder making up and then if we have time maybe we'll go do a, a short job uh, before the horde night starts. So let's go talk to Trader Jen and, she, and see what she, see what she, is a little tongue twister there, has uh, for us for our reward. Now another thing that I, I figured out or learned or remembered however you want to put it is that uh, how the game stages work so we are um, let's look at that really quick so we are at game stage 36 so the way this works I believe is from 1 to 11 I believe it is don't quote me on that but somewhere around 11 you are at game stage 0 and that's when you're gonna get the most basic you know primitive types of items and then from 12 to 50 I under it's my understanding you're in um, tier 1 and that's where you're gonna find you know shotguns and um, iron tools and you know just a little bit better stuff and you'll start finding normal ammunition and then from 50 to 91 i think it is you're in tier two and then i think after 91 i think there's a tier three after 91 i'm, I'm not i guess i guess i'm gonna have to read that again i thought i knew it <laughs> but now i'm not not 100 percent sure anyways all that to say uh, we are now at game stage 36 uh, so it's probably going to be worth it to start trying to open saves here, and doing a little more uh, looting under the weather I've got just what based the doctor ordered. upon why is she say that to me do I have some kind of status effect oh, maybe it's just a generic soundbite 
Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do our turn in. Good work. Um, oil recipe. I don't think that's necessary. We get plenty of oil from wrenching cars. Um, however, four herbal antibiotics would probably be more useful to our survival. 2,500 XP and 560 dukes. Let's complete that. Okay. And let's look and see what's next. Now, we could do do some more buried supplies only because of the fact that doing those, I get clay, which I need for the forge, and we get a pretty decent supply of food. So, I think I'm going to do that. Well... Nah, I don't think I'm going to do that right now just because it's not too terribly exciting for me to to show a buried supplies quest <laughs> on the video itself. That's something I should probably do off camera. Um, so let's just take this fetch here. I always oh. admired a hard worker. That looks like the same place that we, that we a broker did before. Guys. So it's not my fault if you don't like the work. Um, Clear zombies, a fetch... That's the one we just looked at, right? You're Shit, yeah, okay. I don't want to do the same house we just... You. <laughs> she gets mad at me. Yeah, That's funny. Um, I mean, we could do this clear, but it's kind of far away. Ah, oh, what the oh, hell? Let's check it. Best way to get Old, all the coal factory. Rewards. Okay. That's not okay. the one we were just at, unfortunately. And try not to get yourself killed. Okay, let's just grab whatever uh, food is in here. Nothing too terribly fantastic. All right, guys. So here's the deal. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go um, do some nitrate mining and get more or less the equivalent of what we have in coal, so that I can get that cooking up as gunpowder. And then, if we have enough time, after I do that, uh, we will go. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just go right now to to do that. Uh, we will go do that that quest. If we don't, then I probably won't bring you back until the Horde Night actually starts. Okay, guys, we are back. <clears throat> uh, it is noon now, so we are definitely not going to go all the way down here to do this quest. We just don't have time. So what maybe I'll do is I'm, I'm going to get uh, some gunpowder cooking up and some iron in the forge because I also, I'm sorry, not iron, uh, lead in the forge because I also went and got some lead. And then while that stuff's cooking up, maybe what we'll do is we'll just go pick a random POI somewhere very close by and, and just go in and try and loot it. So I think that's probably what's going to make the most sense. So let's get our gunpowder started first. Um, we got a 1,724 coal and about 1,777 nitrate. So that's a pretty decent amount. Um, let's put 25 wood in there and just see how many... Uh, that will make so that requires 28 minutes of burn time man I wish they wouldn't wouldn't have messed with this I can't see what the hell it says um what if we look down here okay 20 minutes yeah they need to fix that I'm wondering if that's even maybe a bug or an accident because why would why would you deliberately make that so you can't read it doesn't make sense to me anyway um let's pull put this lead in here and we'll Get some wood in here to get that smelted. And uh, we got some more um, cartridges here that we've done, and I got more clay cooking up in here. A little bit of nitrate left over, so we'll just stick that in the ammo uh, bin here. And so, yeah, we have 272 bullet casings, and we'll, we'll have some more tips once that other uh, is done. We have a full stack of arrows, so if we run out of ammunition, uh, bullet ammunition rather, uh, we will be able to continue on with our arrows there. Let's get the sand and the stone. Actually, you know what? We got quite a bit of stone too from all of our mining. So what I, I got some cement in here too. So let's cut this in half and um, put that up there. But we already have 103 of those too, so yeah, I don't feel like doing math. We're just gonna we're gonna turn all that into sand, and uh, we'll have a little bit of extra sand, but it's not a big deal. Not gonna worry about it. Okay, let's put that stuff in there. Put that in there. We'll put those in there. Grab those meats. Do I did I make some more meat in here? No. Okay. I haven't really been looking much for bacon and eggs. I've mostly just been making boiled meat. Uh, it's just just easier. It doesn't give as much food as bacon and eggs, of course, but it's just easier to do. And it does give you hydration, too, so that's not too bad. 
I'm going to hang on to those two coffees for the next time I have to go mining. Um, because what I'll do is I'll throw back a coffee. That uh, coupled with the ergonomic mod, and I did take one point in sexy too a couple time, a couple levels ago, uh, allows me to do a pretty decent job of mining all things considered without, you know, before I start running out of stamina. Oh shit, I was going to sell all this stuff to the trader. We might as well grab it and run by there and sell it real quick. Yeah, see, this is the... This is the wrench that I crafted. It's an orange wrench, and it's inferior to the to this brown wrench. See, the brown wrench has it is better, except for the durability. So I don't quite get that. It's kind of a, a disappointment. I wasted supplies doing it, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Okay, so I have um, 12 pipe bombs that I made before I started uh, the camera, so that gives us a total of 20. And then once we get this gunpowder done, we should be able to make a decent amount more of those pipe bombs um, before the Horde Knight starts. And then we'll also be able to turn um, this lead into bullets and maybe, I mean, we do have a full stack of nines right there. I'm not going to use 7.62s at all in Horde Knight unless we get into an oh shit moment. Um, so it's mostly going to be the pistol, the shotgun. If, uh, you know, if they start to get closer to us and the bow. And then, of course, if they get all the way to us, then, we're, then we'll use our stone sledgehammer, which, by the way, has a weighted head mod and a burning shaft mod on it. So it's upgraded a little bit and should, uh, should do pretty good by us. So I think that's all we have to do here right now at the base. We'll let, uh, we'll let that finish up. And uh, so let's go stop by Trader Gen real quick and just sell this extra stuff that I have. And then we'll just pick a random POI real close by there, our our place here. Uh, we could even, you know, we could even loot the fire station actually. Um, one good thing about the fire station is I think there's two vending machines in there. Is there? Maybe there's only one. But that would give us access to another vending machine, as, you know, as a food source. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do the fire station because it's right next door and. That way, you know, we have something we can do while we're waiting uh, for the Horde Knight to start. You don't look so good. <laughs> she said you that to me last get time. some antibiotics for that. I, did, I don't know why she's saying that. I don't have any ailments as far as I know. Anyway, whatever. Let's take this and we're going to sell all of this stuff to her. I'm not going to buy. I, you know what? I probably should have upgraded that. It only takes cloth, but whatever. Too late now. I already have a, a leather duster, so we're going to sell the other one. That gives us 890 coin, which isn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Well, you just brightened my day. Well, I'm glad to hear I'm that. Glad I could help you. Glad to hear that. Did uh, We already hit this, right? Yeah, we already hit that. Okay. All right. Well, hey, let's do the fire station. Let's do the fire station. We're... um. Uh, on my multiplayer server, where this is actually where we're based at, so we are we're doing our base in the fire station, so it's kind of cool. All right, this should be good. Uh, let's get this on our toolbar. Make sure everything's loaded here. I want to try and conserve uh, our ammo as much as possible. Uh, I'm not too worried about the shotgun because we have extra shotgun shells back at the base, but let's try and use. Uh, our sledgehammer as much as we can get away with. Look at that awesome, awesome burning model. Love it. I really like the new the new fire effect. It's, it looks really good. A really very realistic. Okay, so we took care of those guys. There's no, there might be some Zika Ruskies upstairs, too. So here's how we're going to handle that. Let's get rid of this thing. And I'm going to just make a door. Um, D-O-O-R. Okay. Learn how to spell. And we want to put that... Okay, which direction is that going? Yeah, that's right. I, well, I need to be able to put a, a thing, uh, a frame in front of it. No, that's not right. Damn it. Needs to go the other way. You know, that might... Do you think that'll work, though? Because I think this is just a half-block wall. Ah, I don't know, man. I don't know if I, I trust that. 
I thought I had this going the right direction, but apparently I didn't. Right, let's try this again. No, you know what? I think it is. It's because this is a half block. So, oh, I don't know if the Zekers can, can get around that. Hmm. All right. Well, the whole point in the door is just to buy us a couple seconds to put a block down to get it upgraded uh, when we get chased. So let's let's just test that theory. Nobody's upstairs. Hmm. Okay. I don't trust this. We're getting our oh shit weapon out. Well, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, you know what? This place does have two vending machines. Okay, cool. Because there's also one right down there, too. I thought it did. I thought it did. So, what's that do? That gives us sneak damage, rock busters. You know, I... Uh, 100? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to buy those, and we'll save them until we uh, do our next mining thing. And that lasts for 10 minutes, too. So that's really actually pretty damn nice. I like it. Let's buy the coffee. All right, so there's no Zika Ruskies up here. I figured there would be. There's going to be some in that room, though, of course. Let's see what's in here. Um, that we'll just sell, because we already have a college jacket. Okay, we got somebody's attention. Oh, shit. All right. Let's just see if this works. It might not, but if it doesn't, then we'll just use shotgun. Can she get around that? Yep. Uh, nope, she can't. All right, good. There you go, darling. Light it up. Light it up. Hey, can we get around this? Nope, we can't even get around it. Okay. So let's go, let's go around here. Okay, there's another Darlene there. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do her. Off of his head. It sounds like we aggroed another Zikaruski. Let's upgrade that. Not sure where that zombie is. It might be outside on the in, around back. There's a decent supply of leather there too. Is that zombie stuck up on the shelf there? Where the hell is she at? Alright, is there anybody else over here? Oh, she's out here. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, sometimes there's sleepies up on the shelf there. I don't see any though. I don't see any. Oh, you know what, guys? My last point. I took. Uh, I went ahead and took lock a lock picking uh, level one, so that way we can make our own lock picks. I kind of hemmed and hawed about that in our last series, and I decided, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to take it now and be done with it, and then we have it. All right. Um. I think we've cleared the place, except for that zombie outside, which doesn't kind of doesn't count. Let's actually go in here and look. Make sure there's no Zeeks in here. Nope, we're good to go. All right, so the firehouse is cleared. That was pretty easy. 
Uh, but again, it gives us access to two vending machines, which and which and all the other stuff that we can loot. Um, let's go ahead and deal with her. Excellent. Okay, what do we got in here? There's more rock busters. Uh, how much? We got 500 coin there. I think I want to buy food first. What do these do? Shock AoE radius. Nah, we don't care about that. It gives us 300. Let's buy one more of those, and we're just going to hang on to those, like I said, until the next time that we go mining. And let's buy two more of those. There we go. That's a pretty decent little supply of food. In fact, we need to eat something right now, so let's just have one of these. That's not so bad. Okay, let's loot stuff, and then by the time we're done looting everything in here, we're going to need to go back and uh, uh, do our final uh, preparations for Horde Night. So how many lockpicks do I have? I only have three on me. Well, let's try it. If, if these all break, I can go back and make some more and just come back here later to finish these off. Or maybe we'll luck out and get one or both of the safes open with three lockpicks. We're going to find out here in a moment. There we go. All right, what do we have? Oh, look at that. A hunting rifle and an iron sledgehammer and two machete parts. We found the schematic for machetes uh, in, I think it was a, two episodes ago. Um, so, yeah, we can make one of those. Very cool. All right, let's try our luck again. And we got a hunting rifle, too. So that means I'll probably put the next point into Deadeye uh, so that we can actually use that for sniping and hunting and all that good stuff. All right, let's try this again. Boom, we did it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, okay, we got an AK and another hunting rifle. Is this pistol better than the one we have? It is not. It's got better durability, but... Oh, look at that. Machete parts again. So, damn it, we need one more, I think. Ooh, Metal Spikes mod. Hmm, we got that purple club that I'm kind of sitting on. So, and more ammunition for Horde Knight and, and all that. That's good. Wow, that's tempting. Maybe we ought to put that on that purple club we have and start trying the purple club out again because that's going to pack a punch. I just don't have any skills in the tree, but uh, I'm assuming this orange hunting rifle is better than this one. It's got more... Uh, no, this one has more range. And that one has one more durability. Big fucking deal. <laughs> This one's got. This one's actually, I would say, overall better. Cause it, just because of the fact that it's got more range to it. Oh man, I hate that. I wish. I wish the game would not do that. Would not give make higher tier stuff inferior to lower tier stuff. For this particular case, it really doesn't matter. But it would matter if this was yellow, right? And this one was an orange, because then we would lose that mod slot. Is what it is. Okay. What about this AK? Is it better than our brown one? It is not in terms of damage. The rest of it doesn't really matter all that much. So we'll probably end up scrapping that. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have to loot? Let's see if we can hurry up and finish the looting here. This is probably just going to be a toilet or something stupid like that. Let's just check it. Oven, yeah. Okay. All right. That's just stuff for the forge. I'm. You know what? I'm not going to open that stuff. Not right now anyway, because all it's going to be is just basic shit. But we will open the working stiff tools uh, box over here. So let's get up here and see what's in here. All right. Not likely that this is better than our purple. Nope, it's not. Okay. So we can just scrap that. Just checking to see if there's anything up high on the shelves that I'm missing. I don't see anything more. Okay. We checked the bookcase. I don't think there's anything behind there. Let's take a look. See in here and in the two sinks. Okay. What about this wrench? Is it better than? Okay. It is better than my brown, but not. Oh, wait, did I not sell that? I thought I was going to sell that. I'm confused. Let's just scrap these. No, not drop, scrap. We don't need one stone. And honestly, we don't even really need those either. Okay, well, this wrench is better than our brown one. 
More block damage, more melee attack, less durability though, but you know, repair kits are pretty cheap, so we don't really care so much about that. What's in here? Jars. All right, I think that's it for the kitchen. We could wrench those, but I'll, I'm not going to worry about that now. Uh, I might come back in here later to get that leather. We don't really need leather right at the moment. Did we miss anything significant up here? I could take these beds apart with the wrench later uh, and get some springs and other things, but I think that pretty much wraps it up for the fire station. All right, let's go back to the base, guys, and get... Uh, our final preparations made for Horde Night 14. Okay, so we have a thousand gunpowder made up and another 300 and some there. Uh, so I want to mostly make more pipe bombs with that. So let's grab the... We have 28 more pipes, so let's see if we can make 28 pipe bombs with what we have here. Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we still have plenty of gunpowder left over to make some more uh, bullets, too. Uh, but we have a full stack of nines and then 47 more from what we just found uh, at the fire station. So what I might do is just use this for Horde Knight. And then if we run out, we switch, you know, to arrows and or shotgun shells and use melee. And then that way, when the Horde Knight's over, we've, we've got plenty of uh, materials to replenish our ammo that we shoot up. Also, I'm a noob. I, was, I still misread this orange wrench. This stupid round one that we have is still the better wrench, all, all told, because so, it's got 18 melee, and actually it's really block damage that's the most important thing for these. So 42, whereas this one only has um, 41, and this one only has 40. So yeah, this one is still the best one overall, even though the durability is not quite as good on it. So we'll just continue using that for now. So we got six machete parts. The problem with making a machete right now, though... Oh, I guess we only need five parts. I don't have enough steel, but the problem, if we made it right now, it would only be a level one, so at some point, maybe we might want to think about putting a couple of points into the knife skills so that we can make a little bit better machete if we don't find one between now and then. So, okay, so let's see. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're making more bullets and uh, buckshot in here from the lead uh, that I put in there. We'll just go ahead and keep baking all that clay, uh, clay rather into the forge. And this should now be ready to make some more concrete mix. So let's get that made up because we're going to need concrete mix for repairs. And I have some here. So we're going to keep that in our inventory. Now, one of the things that I wanted to check out it was our purple club with this spiked mod. So let's modify that and put the spikes on it. Plus, remember, we got all these other slots too. And so that makes that gives us 22 uh, melee damage and 35 power attack versus 26 melee and 48 power attack. However, what we could do is we could also put these on the club. All right, and now that gives that uh, 24 melee and 38 power, 22 and 44. Considering the fact that this will use far less stamina and will be faster than this, I think this is now probably the best melee weapon that we have. Um, now we do have the iron sledge though too. So that's 37 and 75. That's that's a lot more, you guys. That is a hell of a lot more, but we wouldn't be able to put the spikes on it if we started using that as the only thing. And it is going to use quite a bit more uh, stamina to use. Hmm, that's tempting. I don't know. The good thing about the sledge, of course, is that it gives us a lot more reach. Yeah, boy, it's, it's, it's hard to decide, you know? It's hard to decide. Let's... Let's put these on here. Okay, now we're at to 43 and 81 power attack damage. Yeah, you know what? Sorry, club. I, I would have liked to have used you with the spikes, but I think <laughs> I think the sledge is still going to win out for us. I'm just, I guess I'm just too much of a sledgehammer guy. Not to mention the fact that we, we have one point in uh, Skull Crusher and we have no points whatsoever in Pummel Pete. Um, I believe that's what it's still called, right? Pummel Pete? Uh, go here. Yeah. Uh, so that's the one we would need for clubs. 
But I'm going to hang on to that purple club with the spikes on it because at some point, you know, depending upon how how we uh, spec out and that sort of thing, uh, we might uh, we might still do it. We might still do it. Okay. So where are we at here? You guys are done with that ammunition. Um, do I want iron in my inventory? I think I do. Because we do have some iron bars. And let's grab the pipe bombs. Two more to go. And we'll get the ones out of here, too. All right, guys. Well, hate to do this to you, but it's just kind of the timing of everything. We are done with this episode. So in the next episode, we will start it up, and it'll be Horde Night 14. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.